Thank you, Ms. Kantz. And I want to thank all of our witnesses for your excellent, excellent uh, testimony and for, for once again, a thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule for being here. We'll now proceed to the, the question and answer session. And I'll begin first. I know that, that my colleagues are eager for the opportunity to ask a number of more specific questions as we hear from you all about how the policies coming out of Washington have impacted your lives here in the heartland. So I'll keep my questions to just one, but I will ask each of you all to respond to it. Um, under President Trump, one of the key changes this committee made for working American families was to double the amount folks can deduct from their income each year and to lower their, their federal tax bill. Those who are benefiting the most from that change are median income households, which is about $60,000 per year um, right here in Oklahoma. As life has become more expensive for all Americans over the last two years, we are seeing why deducting more from income makes sense. Because more and more family budgets is having to be used for so many basic needs just to get by. And when President Biden releases his budget on Thursday, we'll again see that he wants this relief from federal taxes for American families to expire. I want you each to answer this question through the perspective of your customers, your suppliers, your neighbors and friends in the midst of a 40 year high spike in the cost of living. What would it mean for them if this committee further reduced their yearly tax burden to give American families an extra couple hundred dollars in their pocket each year right now? Mr. Jackson, why don't we start with you and go down the line? Chairman Smith, um, I can tell you that reducing the taxes for a small business would, would greatly uh, help us. Um, it, it, was that your question as far as, could you repeat that please? So in the tax taxes that were cut in 2017, it was doubling of the standard deduction for folks who don't itemize. And so this affected over 80% of Americans. So most of your customers would probably be in the standard deduction. That will expire. In fact, in the president's budget on Thursday, he'll outline for it to expire. Um, do you think that it would help your customers, your suppliers, um, if we would actually increase the deduction so that they would save more on their taxes? I think further reducing taxes would, would definitely be a great thing. And as a small business owner, I can tell you that uh, any money saved is reinvested in our business and how early on we are, uh, it is a struggle to make sure, like I mentioned in my testimony, to have the cash flow to make sure that we can meet payroll and then beyond that, uh, offer benefits for people who have been with us for an extended period of time, uh, paid time off um, and uh, in healthcare, things like that. So the more we can receive in terms of help and making our life easier and paying less taxes, the more we can do for our employees. From a business perspective, a small business perspective, what is the, the, the tax advantage that has helped benefit your small company the most? I would say the number one thing was the payroll tax credit early on that helped fund us as we cycle through so many employees early on. We've retained about 25% of those folks that started with us in the beginning. And so um, that was the greatest benefit for us to help us meet our obligations early on uh, as we had to operate with cash um, as an early business. Perfect. Mr. Mills? I would concur with really pretty much everything he said. You know, I, I think more about my employees uh, than myself uh, because they're really the ones that do the work. Uh, I just kind of guide them. So, uh, you know, they, uh, they're they definitely impacted every day by uh, the, you know, the taxes they have to pay. We're burdened, of course, with having to continually pay more and more and more uh, just to keep our employees. And, and as a small company, we compete against most of the big companies, and especially in the oil field. I mean, I make drilling tools and bits, but it's not for oil. It's just shallow drilling, uh, like water and things. And so, uh, but we have to compete. We have to pay those same benefits, health care, uh, you know. So it's a, there's a huge burden on, on myself as a small business. But I think it would be a mistake 
to take away those uh, taxes, you know, breaks for especially uh, just the average worker. Uh, with inflation today, you know, it's accelerated so much that uh, it's, it's a huge benefit. So, and, and I agree with the, I have to tell you, I've never taken any federal funds ever in my, none of our generations have. We've always just been on our own. You know, we've made no bailouts or we're just not in that industry. And um, that payroll protection program was a huge shot in the arm uh, at the right time. And we, it allowed us to retain all of our employees and continue to prosper and grow uh, with a good base. So that is one of the, the few uh, really bailouts that, uh, that we've had the opportunity to work with. And, and I, I thank Congress for that. Uh, at the perfect time. So it did work, but I, I would think this would be a very bad time to take away any more tax breaks uh, for especially the average uh, worker. Thanks, Mr. Mills. Ms. Payne? I think you'll see the panel uh, mirror the responses all the way down the, down the line here. I guess from my perspective, though, any time that hardworking Americans can keep more money in their pocket, we should give them that opportunity, especially in this, these uncertain times that we're in. Uh, a lot of my uh, neighbors are not only farmers and ranchers, but they have an off-farm job because they have to. Uh, but as things get tighter uh, from in the ag sector and all, well, all of us, uh, the more money, what was Grandpa always said, if you want to double your money, you know, fold it in half and put it in your pocket, I think those days are over. So, uh, but that would be where I'm coming from with it. Thank you, Ms. Payne. Mr. Brevetti. Well, Chairman Smith, um, I'm having a hard time thinking of any country that taxed their way to prosperity. So um, lower taxes are certainly uh, better for all. That rising tide would lift all boats. Uh, specifically uh, to your comment about the removal of the standard deduction, I think of all of the workers in the field, the, the dozens and dozens of people who work on our wells, whether they're uh, driving saltwater trucks, whether they're uh, building a fence or working on a drilling rig or a frat crew, uh, they're not uh, itemizing deductions. They depend upon that standard deduction. Uh, I think that's very critical for working class Americans, and I would certainly hate to see that lapse. Thank you, Thank Mr. Perfetti. Ms. Kantz? Thank you, Chairman. Um, I do believe that targeted relief is the way to go. I, I think we firmly believe we hear a lot of working working Americans, working Oklahomans. We truly feel that sweeping, and I truly feel that sweeping, um, maybe the tax code isn't the place unless it's targeted tax credits, like we spoke about, about the child tax credit and um, child dependent care tax credit. The income tax, I think, um, from my history has less impact immediately on the people who need it the most. Thank you. 